supersized seizure. Tons of cocaine crammed into containers on a cargo ship. 15,000 kilos, that, that's a lot. Tonight, the history-making haul and how it all came to be in our backyard. Good evening, I'm Jim Rosenfield. And I'm Jacqueline London. NBC10 was the first to tell you about this record cocaine seizure, the largest ever for our area and one of the biggest in U.S. history. Authorities say the drugs could have a street value of more than $1 billion. More than 15,000 kilos of cocaine has been seized from seven containers on that ship. When you do the math, we are talking about 16 and a half tons of the drug, some 33,000 pounds. As for that chip, it was intercepted by the feds at the Packer Avenue Marine Terminal port on the Delaware River in South Philadelphia. That's after it had been to Chile, Panama and the Bahamas. We have team coverage with NBC 10's Brandon Hudson and Mitch Blocker. We'll begin with Brandon. He's across the river from the port in Gloucester City where he just got new information. Brandon, this is a story the NBC 10 team has been working to nail down since midnight and the scope just growing larger by the hour. Yeah, that's right, Jim and Jacqueline. In the last 20 minutes, we found out how the drugs got on this ship. Police paperwork says a crew and a drug ring used floating nets off the coast of Peru. Now, take a look at those containers. That crew filled seven of them with a billion dollars worth of cocaine. This drug bust has a trickle-down effect, which ultimately keeps you, your family, and your neighborhood safe. An historic large-scale cocaine bust that sounds like something out of a big-budget blockbuster. 33,000 pounds of coke worth more than a billion dollars. Investigators found the drugs in seven shipping containers the size of a standard tractor trailer aboard a ship at a Philadelphia port. It's a little crazy down here today. News spread so quickly, this food truck owner heard about it by lunchtime. A traffic jam formed in front of his business. At one point, federal investigators blocked the intersection to let a command post drive by. It's holding up the drivers that want to get other containers out of the yard. So it's going to be chaotic down here today. A senior law enforcement official told NBC 10 the ship traveled from Chile to Panama and to the Bahamas before it stopped in South Philly. Container Last night's bus Bahamas. comes three months after another cocaine seizure, which at the time was the fourth largest in the region. Well, back in March, authorities captured 1,200 pounds of coke worth $38 million, a total which is now pocket change compared to what investigators found on a South American ship. We know that it's happened a couple of times. It's been on the news a couple of times. Last night was pretty big. And within the past hour, we got a statement from the ship's owner, Mediterranean Shipping Company. In the statement, MSC says shipping companies are often the targets of drug trafficking. It takes this matter very seriously, and they are working with law enforcement. Live along the Delaware River, I'm Brandon Hudson, NBC 10 News. And our coverage continues with investigative reporter Mitch Blocker live in our newsroom. And Mitch, the region has never seen the likes of something this big, right? Yeah, let's give this some perspective. The Department of Homeland Security, it says before today it had seized 19 tons of cocaine. That's across the entire country. The 16 tons that they found in Philadelphia nearly doubles the total. When federal agents boarded this cargo ship in the port of Philadelphia, they discovered drugs scattered throughout seven massive containers. Before arriving in Philly, the cargo ship traveled from Chile through Panama and the Bahamas. You want to get as high up in the food chain as possible to prevent as much drugs as you can to get it onto the streets. Law enforcement professionals like Jameson Rogers say 15,000 kilos is a one of a kind drug seizure, something never before seen. That's a massive amount. I mean, just with one kilo, the street value of that is roughly $30,000. Port of Philadelphia security is fully in the hands of U.S. Customs and Border Protection. CBP requires any ship headed for the U.S. to file details on its route and cargo. The answers may trigger an inspection. Customs officials have not released details of what was seized, but did confirm a massive investigation underway at Philadelphia's port. The Port of Philadelphia is the 23rd busiest port in the U.S., with more than 23 million tons of cargo hitting the dock each year. Now, as we have been reporting, this is now the third significant drug seizure in our region this year. In March, customs officials discovered $38 million in cocaine at the Port of Philadelphia and another $77 million worth at the Port of New York and New Jersey. Jim and Jacqueline, back to you. Obviously a big disruption in this latest bus. Mitch, thank you. And NBC10 was the first to break this story today on the NBC10 app. Continue to follow the developments online and download the app for free so you don't miss any breaking news updates.